Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 12 of Forever Stranded, a mod pack by Gaming with Sheridan. So in the last episode I told you about a tip and trick from uh, Fuzzy Flux, one of my uh, fellow YouTubers and subscriber, where you could use two dirt and two gravel to make coarse dirt. And I said I didn't want to use coarse dirt because one, it doesn't make grass and two, trees grow slower on it. But he responded back to me saying that the reason for that is if you till the, the dirt, it becomes normal dirt. Dirt, And I thought that this was a uh, like a hack, like uh, something that shouldn't happen. But I found out that it's a standard uh, mechanic. It's a standard Minecraft mechanic. So if it's a standard Minecraft mechanic and it wasn't disabled in the pack, it means that it's something that we can use. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm just gonna... Oh, do I have my crumb press hammer? Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm gonna take... I'm gonna create some gravel just to be able to do this. And I'm going to use the gravel with the, cor with the dirt. And I have four dirt that becomes eight dirt. But not eight dirt, eight coarse dirt. And when I put it down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's coarse dirt. But if you till it, it becomes dirt. So you till it and then you just collect it back. And I'm just gonna use my pick so that it goes faster. You collect it back, so now you have eight dirt. Oh, didn't collect all of it, eight dirt. And if you do this process again, your four dirt that became eight is now sixteen. So you're basically doubling your dirt. And I asked myself if this was a cheat. But considering how much work it is that you actually have to put it all down till every single piece and then break them to be able to reuse them. Oh, I'm going to get my shovel. This is just taking too long. And then have to break each of them to, again, create more coarse dirt. I feel that the work and effort that you have to put into it is worth it. But let's consider this for one moment. This is this takes a lot less time than actually having to harvest all of the cactus wall or getting leaves and putting it in there and waiting for it to uh, transform because look at this it's still composting it's at 91 percent so if I want to get my whole front yard transformed into dirt faster I'm going to need to use this trick now the second tip and trick that I wanted to talk about is something that I honestly derped. I, I knew about this, but for whatever reason, I saw a stream from Sheridan when he was talking about creating a crafting recipe for the uh, a crafting recipe for the obsidian. And I don't know why, but in my mind, I figured out that it meant that he had disabled the standard obsidian recipe. Because in my previous episode, I showed you that you create obsidian by having two water and two obsidian in a crafting grid. But let me put this back here and get where do I have any buckets? Uh, okay, let me take this uh, lava bucket and put it in here. Let me get a water bucket and something to enclose the space. Oh, I'll, I'll use a trap because that's easier to see. So I'll put a trap at this level and I'll even open it to get access and I can put water no problem. See that still works to create obsidian and that's one water and one lava per obsidian. So it's so much easier that way. I'm going to be creating five obsidian and that's going to help us complete one of the quests. So I'm at four. Let me get the fifth one and I'll read the quest and it's the first time that I do the reverse order so let's go to the quest I'd already researched this before the episode so that's why the quest is already open in uh, it's in Tinkapau it's better tools better tools upgrade your tools it wants us to create an obsidian pickaxe head an obsidian shovel head and one obsidian tool rod two obsidian two obsidian one obsidian we have the five obsidian so we're able to complete this now Let's go into our uh, tool station. No, not our tool station. Our part builder. Put this in, and we'll create the 
pickaxe head, the shovel head, and the tool rod. I don't know why the tool rod, I don't find it particularly good, but let's turn in the, the quest. And that gives us 10 obsidian, a soul forge steel chest plate, which is very good for the next time we go in the city, and a loot chest. You guys have seen how lucky slash unlucky I've been with the chest. So let me do the replacement of my tools. I need to first repair it and then replace the head. That one's done. And then I need to do my shovel, first repair hit, then repair uh, replace the head. And I'm going to get rid of the, oh, let me put back the cactus here though. So now I'm gonna put the obsidian, the cactus, and the cobblestone in the repair slots. And I'm gonna get rid of the, what do I wanna get rid of here? I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of the drying rack and I'm gonna get rid of the soul force steel plate for now. So now that this is done, let's put the tool back into the rack. Oh, I'm also going to get rid of the handle because I don't have any expectation of using it right now. And let's look at the loot chest. Wool. <laughs> okay. I can use this. It's not overpowered and I'm not changing my power spike. So I don't care about using it or not. Now that this quest is done, the next quest are the modifiers. And you have to create an iron toolkit which will add a modifier and then yet another modifier, extreme modifier, and ender modifier. So modifier is, so you have ran out of modifiers. Well, that can be fixed with some simple upgrade. And let's look at the modifiers upgrade and you'll agree with me that they're nothing but simple. The modifier upgrade for the iron is five iron large plate, which in themselves cost like eight iron if I remember the count correctly and one block of pig iron and pig iron is only found well it's not found it's either found in quest or you have to create it from molten pig iron and you create molten pig iron by uh, let me find it I, I clicked the wrong thing so you create it by mixing let me go to the end <sighs> Wow, I'm all derp tonight. Um, so you get it by smelting, alloying, emerald, blood, and iron. So it's not impossible to do, but the blood is going to require some villager, and we're not at that step yet. So those quests are going to be left for later. And in this uh, quest line, I could do the level one, level one furnaces from this quest. Simple yet effective. So now we got some tech. We can make simple yet effective generator. And it wants to create us us to create a level one furnace generator, a level one culinary generator. Those are easy to make, but to complete the quest you also have to make the Mark II. And I believe that once you complete those you also oh no, so it's only the Mark II. But to create the Mark II, let's look at the culinary generator, culinary generator Mark II. And you need Dragon Breath. And Dragon Breath is crafted with six Nether Star. It's and a, a one Nether Star and six Ender Pearl. It's so expensive that we're nowhere close to doing that. So that's not a quest that we can complete anytime soon. The Iron RF tool requires so much iron that we're not close to completing it and they're not useful. So I don't want to spend any time on that. And then the Chemical Trower or Railgun are also expensive. They would be nice because they give us an extra life, but until we lose a life, I don't feel like we need to rush them. So, we're here, we need to wait on the trap to get all of these twos, meat for these twos. This, we need to wait on blaze rods to be able to create the, uh, the not the cooling coil, the reverse of the cooling coil. And creating life, well, I need 64 seeds. So I basically need to set a second garden and just go like this for an hour to get all of the seed. So I'm not really rushing into doing that. All's left to us is the technological revolution. So let's get started on those quests. First, we want the basic capacitor. And the basic capacitor is four gold, four gold, two redstone, and one copper. I'm also going to grab four iron 
and one redstone because I already know the recipe for the next step. So let's look them up. I want you guys to get used to JEI because I saw some of you guys are not used to doing that. So let's look up the capacitor and the capacitor is exactly what I was saying. Let's create the recipe and get one. Let's look at the quest again. It's recognized we need a redstone servo. So let's look that one up. Redstone servo. Uh, redstone servo. And the redstone servo is four redstone around an iron. Oh, I took four iron and a redstone. What a major derp. So let me do the reverse of what I said I needed and get that completed. And finally, the next step is the light engineering block. So let's look up light engineering block and the light engineering block requires four iron three coppers and two iron mechanical component and the iron com mechanical component are four iron and a copper so i need two of those so that's eight and two and i need another four so that's 12 and five so let me grab all of that 12 is this and five oh i only have one but Let's be honest, I've been cooking some and not using it, so there should be a lot of them here. And five. I'm all good. And I'm going to craft it outside since I'm already outside. First, I need to make two of those. Be careful. You picked up enough resource to create three. So don't overclick it. And you create those. And that's the second quest completed. So the quest was basics down. So moving on, you have managed to get this far with maybe a few Hiccups? I think he means hiccups along the way. Now is the time to start the da technology that may save your life for the long run. Let's see if you can craft the basic tech item first. So we did the first three tech item. And here, uh, we already created quad super crafting. I don't want to use my loot chest, so there's no point picking one up. The super incineration frame is, is like the trash can, only better. It permits you to void an item, but it keeps in memory the last eight items that you void, so that if you by mistake voided something you didn't want to, you can get it back. And then there's the Super XP frame. I'm going to take the Super XP frame because I haven't died yet, and I'm at 30 experience, but I might die at any moment. So you put it on the wall, and then when you shift right click, it gives you all of your experience in bottle form. One bottle per level. So now that I have that, I'm just going to put them in a chest here and keep them safe for when I need them. Because unless I'm doing enchanting or unless I'm using them for a crafting recipe, there's no reason for me to get them. So that's two quests done. And the next quest are the starting up AE. But to start up AE, you need flux crystal. And then the second step is this. And these, you need pure seeds. And for seeds, you're going to need to crush stuff. So, and they're going to take a long time. So I want to address those once I have a sag mill. The other quest that I've unlocked is this. Alloys and crusher. Some dust will require you to crush them down into dust form. Other items, you may need to combine them. They can all be done with two simple machines. So this wants us to create a sag mill and an alloy smelter. I've been wanting those machines for a very long time now, but I was waiting on creating them till the quest because I didn't want to craft two of them. So to create an alloy smelter, I'm going to... So let's look them up. Maybe you guys are not aware of how to make them. So the sag mill first. The recipe for the sag mill is three obsidian, two flint, two piston, an iron, and a machine chassis. And a machine chassis is made out of four iron bar, four iron, and a basic capacitor. So right now we only have one basic capacitor. Let's create another one. So I need two of these and I need more copper. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to grab all of the irons that I can. And I'm going to grab only one iron because that's really all that I need. And I'll go back inside and I should have all the material to be able to complete this. So for this, like so, and the copper, that's the second basic capacitor. I have 16 iron bars, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. The two capacitor in the middle, and this for one, and this for two. So now I have the two machine chassis, and for the sag mill, 
I now need two piston, two flint, and three obsidian. The last quest gave us 10 obsidian as a reward, so I'll just grab three from there because I don't want to have to craft any more. I also need two flint, and I need to create two pistons. So the two pistons require at least two redstone, and the rest is cobblestone. Let me get some cobblestone and some wood. Let me get some wood. We'll use JEI to simplify the recipe and one, two. And we should be able to craft a sag mill now and one sag mill. Let's make sure it recognized it. Yes. So now the alloy smelter. So now let's look up the alloy smelter recipe. The alloy smelter recipe requires four block of iron, a cauldron, a machine chassis that we already have, and three furnace. So I don't have enough for the three furnace. Let's create the three furnace right now because that's easy. Three furnace. I have the machine chassis. And the iron. How much iron do I have? Oh, I only have enough to create two and my cauldron. So I'm missing 18 iron. And that's all I, that I'm missing. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create another quad crafting frame. One, two, three, four. And do I have enough stick? Let me see. Ah, oh, barely. This is, oh yes, four. Okay, so I have enough stick. I'll create a quad crafting frame. And then I'll come here and I'll grab, uh, I don't have enough. Basically, I don't have enough any of this. So I'll just grab all of these and go downstairs and see how my sifting is doing. Because if I'm lucky, I have 18 irons worth of sifting already done, and I'll be able to use that. So I'll put this in here. And the reason I wanted the second quad crafting frame was to put it here and complete the other recipe. How much is it? 18. Oh, wow. So, okay, this is amazing. I really didn't think that I had enough, but I have enough. All I need now is to go and cook it. So I will go upstairs and cook the iron. Right here, and I'll put the iron here, and I'll put all of the rest that I don't really need right now in here. I need some lava that I'll put in. I'll get my bucket back, and I'll prepare the next uh, lava bucket. And that's it. So I don't have enough resource, and I have to wait for these 18 to cook. So while I'm waiting for these 18 to cook, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out all of that sand with a hammer, and I'm going to then start creating coarse dirt. And every once in a while, I'm going to come in here and check. So this is going to be a short time lapse, and I'm going to come back right after this. So see you soon, guys.
And we're back. So this took a little bit longer because I was in the mood to continue playing and I wanted to get as much dirt done as possible. But now that this is done, let's build our alloy smelter. The alloy smelter is built from the four blocks that we now have. Let me just find the recipe right here. And we're going to go set that downstairs. But first, let's collect the quest. The quest is here, and the Vibrant Alloy Nugget, unless you have 8 or 9, they're not really useful right now. The Energy Conduits are going to be very easy to create, and we're going to have a lot of resource to do it, so that doesn't matter so much. The Basic Capacitor, well, they take 4 gold, so we're going to go with the option that costs more gold. The next quest that we're going to want to work on is some alloys. There will be some alloys, you will use a lot of Let's see if you can make them. And it wants us to create 4 energetic alloy and 32 gun conductive iron. So let's look up the two recipe. Oh, I have energetic alloy already researched. Uh, energetic alloy is made out of gold, redstone, and glowstone. And we only need to make four of those. Now let's look at the conductive iron. And the conductive iron are made out of iron and redstone so we basically need 32 of each but if we look at the use of them that's what makes energy conduit so we're gonna have 32 we'll be able to make all the energy conduit that we need so I'm just going to look here quickly if I have some gold yes let's pick up four gold and the reason I'm gonna pick up four gold is I'm going to start uh, creating the alloy, uh, alloy as soon as I can let me go in here, I want to pick up my energy conduits, and I would like to get some transfer nodes, but the item transfer nodes. So I have a chest here, and I'm going to need two redstone. Let's look at the two redstone. I'm also going to pick another four redstone, so six in total, because I want to make an item filter, and I'll explain to you why in a moment. So I have my four gold. I'm going to need four more redstone, but I have some downstairs. And is that all I need here? Yeah. So let me create the item transfer nodes that I want. So two stones and two redstone and one set of pipes. And voila. And I'm just going to put that aside for now. I don't want the saplings. Let's get rid of the sapling. I don't need this. I don't need that. The light immersive engineering I don't need right now. So I'll put in the chest here. I also don't need the basic capacitor, so let's put that away. And the for the item filter, I need some uh, sticks, but I don't have enough. So let's go see if I have some more wood. And while we're down there, I'll show you another tip and tricks from Fuzzy Flux. If you remember in the last episode, I derped a lot, and I created a stone hatchet with a diamond on it. And that wasn't accepted because it's considered higher tech than stone. But the funny thing is that cactus is considered lower tech than stone, but it has 250 to 128 here. So by switching the, that here, we're getting double the uh, quantity, the life that we can have. So now with that, we should be good to go. So I'm going to go and complete creating my item search filter. I'm going to need some stick and the item search filter. I'm just going to look at the string. I'm just skipping quickly because when I'll see it pass, I'll recognize it and come back if I need to. And we just passed it. So this is the item filter and this is going to be really good. I'm going to show you in a moment how it works. And I want to filter three things. I want to filter uh, compressed gravel, compressed uh, sand and compressed dust. So I have compressed, oh, I'm going to transform all of it. So you right click with the filter and you just add in whatever you want. So now the filter white lists compressed gravel. Let's transform those two into, into sand that I quickly switch into compressed sand. And let's teach my filter compressed sand. And here we go. And we'll complete this with dust. And we'll transform the dust and we'll teach our filter compressed dust. So now we have everything that we need to be able to go do the setup downstairs, except that no, we don't need a chest. We're good. 
So let's go downstairs. And it's not going to be a pretty setup, but right now I just want to be able to move ahead and start automating stuff as fast as possible. So I'll put the sag mill here and the alloy smelter here. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but I'll do that at the end. I want four glowstone and I fo want four redstone. And the reason for that is, like I told you, I want to start creating everything that I need. So by putting this in, it's going to start cooking my um, energetic alloy. And here I'm going to put compressed cobblestone. And do I have, no, I don't have any yet. I'm just going to put my filter here because I don't want to clog this with items that cannot be processed. And I'm going to put my dust and they're going to go through. And this here is going to create compressed gravel. That's the beauty of these things. They break down compressed cobblestone into compressed gravel. And you can always click here to show recipe. So there's a lot of them. I don't want to go through all of them. But here's the compressed uh, cobblestone. And the compressed cobblestone as no, sorry, not the double. The compressed cobblestone will a 70% of giving chance of giving you a compressed gravel. 30% chance of giving you a second one, 10% chance of giving you compressed sand, and a 95% chance of giving you flint. And all of those chance factor are augmented if you put some uh, item in here. And we're going to put flint the moment we have some. And then we can break compressed gravel into compressed sand and some regular gravel. And I don't think that we can break compressed sand in anything interesting. So we can break compressed sand into silicon and sand, but not into dust. So for the final step to get dust, we'll need a different mechanism. We'll basically need hammerers. So let's look at the production here, and we're not ext Wow, we're really unlucky. It has produced nothing. But let's put an extraction node at the top and connect it here, so that whenever something is produced, and let's wait here to see if on the second one we do get something produced and this is a slow process and we'll make it faster with capacitors but the standard capacitor is not accepted you need the more advanced one and it's going to make everything go faster okay so we got some flint and I'm gonna use one flint and put it immediately in here so that it augments the chance of getting better drop and the chest received the items we have a compressed sand here because we're already doing gravel here so once this gravel is done and I got a flint so I'm just gonna insert that back here it's now going to do the one send that went true so everything is now automated except the actual grabbing of the resource and managing them so let's go and cook that and I think this is where we'll stop the episode and I'll just quickly touch on what I want to do in the next episode. Let me just start the cooking for this. Uh, so one send, I'll just interrupt the buffer here with the iron because I want iron more than I want nickel ore. And I'll put all of that back in here. Ten, this is dust, it doesn't cook. And I'm gonna grab a bucket of lava so that this can cook better. So. In the next episode, we're going to continue with the energetic alloy quest, well, the, the alloys quest. And let's look at the quest quickly. So we're going to finish this quest because the moment I have 32 iron, we're going to start cooking this. And we're going to get started with a 2 because now that we have the sag mill, we can create the flux crystal easy. And then we're going to be able to get the dust to create those. And those take a very long time to... Uh, grow from seeds so we're going to have to find a way of accelerate, accelerating them but if we look at this now the store power this we can create it's just a matter of resource store power so now you have a good amount of power you will want to store that up just in case of power cuts and such so the next thing is auto farm but the farming station we can't do right now we need a lot more tech or the slice and splice and the slice and splice also needs a soul binder and that's where we're going to have a problem but this because the slice and splice needs at one head any one head let's go cool down while I explain while 
what we're going to do next episode. And I have a head, so I'll be able to create that. That's not so hard per se. But the soul binder is the hard part. Because the soul binder requires one of each head. I have this one, but I don't have a skeleton skull. I don't have a creeper head, and I ser I don't have an enderman head either. So we're going to need to start doing mob hunting. And to hunt the mob, I have a couple of tricks that I'm going to show you guys that hopefully are going to make this whole mob hunting easier. So that's what we're going to do for the next episode. And I'm going to end this episode... Oh, sorry. There's one other thing we're going to do. We're also going to be building some... Uh, some what's it called again the uh, storage drawer like this the quad drawers so that we can set them up inside and start cleaning up everything because now we're gonna start swimming in resource so I'm gonna finish this episode with a quick uh, time lapse where I'm going to try and create as much dirt as possible again and I'll see you in the next episode bye now